Remember this little fella? I found him in the back garden under some tiles. We caught him, put him in a box and relocated him round Ben's house. They just, they just sort of blow themselves up. Woohoo! <laughs> Yesterday, we had another one turn up. Yep, Spring's here, he must have just woken up, and he was having a good nose around my front door. I have to say, this is one lucky blue-tongued lizard, because unlike last year, when all we had around the house in terms of pets was one very docile and wouldn't hurt a fly dog called Baggy, this year we have a couple of cats called Remy and Coco who would hurt a fly or indeed anything that moves that could be a bit of sport for them. They prowl around our garden looking for toys to play with and they'd already rounded up on the blue tongued lizard. When my wife called me and I came out, well with my camera first and later with a box. I'd already caught Remy and put him back in the house. He was chomping to get out the door, but Coco was stood out, and as you can see, how interested he was in the skink. I loaded the lizard into the car, and off I went to Ben's house. And this is where we were going to relocate him. Exactly the same place we relocated the last blue tongued lizard. Maybe that one's still here. Maybe they can meet up again. Maybe this could be a blue tongued lizard love story. Watch this space. Okay fella, here's your new home. Much better. Plenty of rocks to hide under. You've got thick grass, you've got shade where you want it. Just about perfect. But before you go, we want to see your blue tongue. Come on. You're a blue tongue lizard, aren't you? Show us your blue tongue. We're waiting. Hey. Thank you. You can go now. Enjoy your new home. Which you'll be pleased to know is killer cat free and it might just have that cute little skink living there that you used to know a couple of years ago.